So I'm Lucy Flint, I run Lucy Flint Jewellery, I'm married to Jake and we've got a little boy who's two and a half called Lucas. Um, I love flowers, animals, nature and when I have any spare time I like yoga, watching films and all sorts of stuff. Started the business in 2014 with my husband Jake just after we got married. Uh, we left our, our normal jobs to make jewellery full time and then I took over the business solo on my own in uh, 2018 when Jake moved into teaching full time. So we started from a small shop and workshop space underneath where we lived. Um, it was quite small, quite dark and we soon outgrew that so then relocated the shop here to Oakham where I am at the minute. So I previously did something completely different to jewellery making. I was a forensic scientist specialising in DNA. Yeah, I enjoyed it, but I'd always had an interest in art and design based subjects too. Um, and so I just, as something to do, a bit of a hobby, um, I took some time out from my job to study a silversmithing course at the London Jewellery School. Um, Realised it was something that I really enjoyed. Um, so I bought all the tools and then got set up in my spare room and started making things at home, like building on the techniques that I'd learned. Um, and then, since then, I've done other courses on casting, stone setting, that sort of thing. And my husband was a visual effects artist for film and television, um, and we were living and working down in London. Um, we knew we didn't want to stay in London forever, because our families are all based up near here. Um, but as it turned out, the jobs that we did they didn't really exist around here, so um, to the surprise of most of our family and friends, we made a bit of a crazy decision to leave our jobs, relocate and set up a business making jewellery. come in and do their silver ring workshop last week um, yeah and everyone always does a really good job they're always really surprised at how they come out with rings that actually look professionally made I always say like I don't think it's I don't think silver smithing is that hard it's just having someone to guide you through it um, and having access to all the right tools so yeah their rings turned out really well thank you <laughs> working alone I do find it quite hard I think anyone that runs a business alone probably deals with the same sort of thing. I think that stems from the fact that being a sole trader you're literally responsible for everything, like there's no one else to fall back on. Like there's the obvious things like making, designing the jewellery, uh, but then also like keeping accounts, organising photography, um, social media, marketing, like producing marketing material to use for advertising. Um, building and maintaining the website, uh, keeping up with emails and phone calls and inquiries and that sort of thing, managing stock and then even down to like the physical maintenance of the shop and like checking the card readers working, that sort of thing, like if it stops working I can't just call an IT guy and get someone to fix it. Um, but then saying this, it sometimes feels like it gets a bit lonely. I've got some really lovely regular customers, so it's always nice to chat to them. And then there's a really nice community feel between all the other independent businesses close by as well. So if I'm having a day where I feel like I'm going particularly insane, I can just run around to one of the other shops and have a chat. So that's good. So balancing work with family is like really hard. Um, I feel like I never fully switch off from work, but then I think a lot of working parents probably feel the same. When Lucas was born, it was at the point where me and Jake were still running the business together, so that worked out quite well. Um, so I stayed at home with him most of the time and then started working maybe two days a week when Lucas was about six months old, I think. So it was nice that Lucas got to spend a lot of time with Jake as well as me. Um, and then Jake got offered full-time teaching position which sort of came out of the blue when Lucas was about nine months old and it was something that we felt like he couldn't really not take. So um, then Lucas started nursery two days a week and we're really lucky that Jake's parents and my parents um, help us out no end. Like I have no idea what we'd do without them. Yeah, so Lucas goes to nursery two days a week and then he spends a lot of time with grandparents which is really nice. So I officially work four days a week in the shop, so I have three days of the week to spend with Lucas, which is really nice. 
Um, so on Thursdays, I try and keep any work that I've got to do to the evenings when he's gone to bed so that we can hopefully spend our day together without me having to worry about all the other stuff that I need to do. I'm not really wor working towards the brand being really big. I want it to be successful, but I don't want it to become so big that it loses that personal touch that you can't really get with a big chain store. Like at the heart of the brand, it is handmade jewellery, so I wouldn't want it to get to a point where it just became a mass-produced product. Starting a business from nothing, especially with barely any experience, has been difficult. Like a lot of stuff, I feel like I've worked it out for myself as I've gone along. Um, and balancing it with a young family too is, is quite hard. Um, it means a lot of late nights and stressful days, but I wouldn't change anything. Like, ultimately, I love what I do, um, and it makes me really happy being able to make jewellery that um, has meaning to my customers and can be treasured for years to come. Um, and yeah, I'm excited for the future of Lucy Flint jewellery and where I can take it.